well, and that's the thing. Like, this would be a great episode to do about, okay, so let's make it so that we don't have to hit each other hit each other up for money all the time, right? Like, let's take care of this. Let's make sure our company has a policy for us. A lot of companies already have at least bare minimum policies and we need to hold their butts to the fire and make sure that they've got get us home policies. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. I don't like violence, Tom. I'm a businessman. Blood is a big expense. So Big Snow Trucker, his name is Dion. He was talking about, about, I don't know, like say a week after Pissed Off Trucker passed away and everybody was, you know, set up a a GoFundMe and take donations for this and take donations for that, you know, and Trucker Final Mile and all this stuff, right? And he basically got on there and he made the point of, you would not ever catch my family on this app begging for money if I die because I have it taken care of because that's my responsibility. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I was like, that's a hot take, but it's so true. Uh, it's, a, it's, a it's a hard pill. It's a hard pill. It's a hard pill to swallow. And now you know yeah. what? Let's say let's 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 put a pin on this one. Let's let's save this one because I I I I got I, I got my I got my hard thoughts about that as well because you know not you know rest in peace to him and the rest of the truck drivers that has passed. But yeah, we 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 as truck drivers. We get into this industry. We know what we we know what we're doing. We know we putting our our lives in danger. If we doing that, yeah. we have to put something in place for our family to take care of. If anything should happen to us, yeah, absolutely. And there's a lot of resources available to do that. And so. Of course, everybody got mad because they thought, well, how dare you attack Trucker's Final Mile and how dare you attack Pissed Off Trucker? And that's not what he was doing, even though the way he said it was kind of derogatory, but it was the idea Wild Indians said the same thing. And basically what they're saying is, why does everything have to turn into a fundraiser? Why does every time somebody dies, there's got to be a GoFundMe? How come? Why is that? Mm. And it's a good point. Because, yeah, you want to express uh, your condolences and people want to send money since they can't send flowers or food or whatever, right? Right. Okay, I get that. That's a given. But it's, yeah, but it's like, why can't we do that instead of out here? Oh, we got to help them out. You got to help them. And, oh, the poor family and all. Yeah, poor family. I feel terrible about them, man. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to pray for them. And if I can help them, I will. But why is everything a damn pitch for money? You know, it irritates the ever-loving shit out of me because I don't mind helping people, but I get hit up constantly. I, you need to donate. And there's this person in need. And there's this person in need. And there's this person in need. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of people in need, and I can't help all of them. Oh, my God. I, You know, like I said, I, I same thing with me. I mean, I, I give my condolences. I give my, uh, you know, my 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 heartfelt wishes and everything. I, I give that. I give that. That's because I'm a caring person. I give that. But, I mean, if you are... And I, I hate to say this, and I hate to be hard with it, but if you are a truck now, I'm 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 keeping it to my industry, nobody else's, because I don't know about how every other industry works. But I'm keeping it to mine. If you are a truck yeah. driver, a new truck driver that's coming out here, and you over here talking about you want to get the bag, well, first thing first, you need to you you need to make sure that your health is on point. You need to get that DLT card and all like that. Make sure that you get a 401k. You know what I'm saying? 401k. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you get all of that. Yeah, you have to do and last all but, the stuff. Yeah. And last but not least, get insurance. Get insurance. Yeah. Now, depending on how old you are, I get it. 
because some insurance I, I when I when I looked for insurance, it was hard for me. I should have got it when I was young. I I I really did. I but of course as I when I was young, I wasn't thinking about all that. I really wasn't. But now that I'm older, now that I'm older and I had my little stint with uh pneumonia twice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> I I I got on I I got on the phone, got on the internet, called the top the the top insurance companies. Come to find out, neither one of them want to fuck with me because of because of whatever. And then I I had to find this you know Jack Lay insurance. I got to find the paperwork because I don't know what it is. I'm not even sure if I'm still paying that bitch. <laughs> I think I am. Right. Right. I think right. I am, or at least I should, but I I haven't got any I haven't got any mail information on the fact that I that I wasn't paying, but I still need to know the inf- I still need to know the insurance that I got <laughs> because I can't find the paperwork. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. Like this would be a great episode to do about. Okay, so let's make it so that we don't have to hit each other, hit each other up for money all the time. Right. Like let's take care of this. Let's make sure our company has a policy for us. A lot of companies already have at least bare minimum policies and we need to hold their butts to the fire and make sure that they've got get us home policies. Oh my God. Yes. They need uh, to get, they, they, these companies do need a, a, a get home policy and I, and you know, no disrespect to final mile. That's, that's a great organization. And of course they do Absolutely. need some help. They do need some help. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the work that they do is through donations, but, but the company, my God, if I'm working for Swift Snyder, uh, Prime Inc. If I'm working for those yeah. big companies, and if I should get in an accident and it's a fatality, and you know, you know, I'm, 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 you know, perished, then it should be up to those companies to get me home to my family. Yeah, absolutely. And that should be, you know, those are things that. Yeah, we should we should be checking that. Yeah. And so it would be a good go ahead. It it should not be it should not be uh trucker's final mile to do that. Now, I mean, trucker's final mile could help, but majority of of the footwork should be on the company. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It would be great to do an episode where, uh, and I'd be willing to help you if you would like just gathering resources. Like, okay, instead of beating a dead horse, we all know how everybody feels. Why don't we be smart about how we donate our money? And why don't we be smart about how we spend our money so that we don't have to turn everything into a GoFundMe? Right? We make enough money. Now let's help each other spend it wisely and then list out the resources. Because then you have like um, Trucking Angel, Bobby. She does, oh God, she does everything. She'll help you set up your authority and set up your business and your business structure. She'll help you get the right insurances, life insurance, all this stuff. Like she can help you do all that stuff. And she's on TikTok even. And so it would be cool to see, you know, some kind of a constructive conversation around that that doesn't end up in a screaming match where everybody is, thinking that somebody is pissing on a dead person's name when that's not it at all. We're just saying, Hey, you got to be ready. Of course, not every circumstance, you know, circumstance is going to be the same. There will be unexpected sometimes, but that shouldn't be every time we lose somebody. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me all night?